Back in New York, Dr. Jeske is now on lymphoma rounds with Dr. John Leonard. This morning, the team is seeing Herbert Stern, a patient with diffuse, large B-cell lymphoma. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Doctor. Feeling OK? Yes, I am. In. Good, good. All right. Well, Just three weeks before, listen, huh? Herbert was on a ventilator, fighting for his life. Lymphoma is a type of cancer that begins in white blood cells called lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are the main part of our immune system and circulate in blood vessels, as well as in their own network of vessels and lymph nodes. From there, they can enter the blood or tissues to respond to bacterias and viruses. Lymphoma develops when lymphocytes grow and divide uncontrollably into tumors, crowding out healthy tissue and organs. I don't feel much of anything here. These have really dramatically shrunk with the treatment, which is great. So normal lymph nodes are about a centimeter or so. And your lymph nodes were about 12 centimeters or so. You had, in some dimension, almost a football kind of right in here. No wonder. And that, no wonder you couldn't breathe, exactly. Herbert is being treated with a monoclonal antibody called rituxan. It binds only to the surface of cancer cells, tagging them for destruction by the body's own immune system. Developed for lymphoma, rituxan is the first targeted cancer immunotherapy. And combined with lower dose chemotherapy, it is dramatically improving outcomes for many patients. I mean, he came in and he was dying to the point that he was on, intubated on a ventilator and now um, is almost ready to go home in, the, in a couple of weeks, which, you know, is, is quite remarkable. But in some cases, we're making 10, 20, 30 percent improvements in survival um, by the new treatments that we have available. But lymphoma cases have tripled in the last 20 years. More than a half million Americans are living with lymphoma. As new therapies are brought to clinical trial for this and other critical diseases, patients now have more options to improve their health and to advance medical knowledge. I think every patient should inquire as to what the opportunities are for clinical trials and to ask their doctor, uh, is this something that they can participate in? In many cases, uh, it can either make a big impact for others with little effort for the patient, or in some cases can really make a major impact for the patient.